and welcome back to your favorite news network, Swancraft Times. I'm your host, Crazy Nuggets. And I'm your host, Little Kia. Today we're here to bring you Swancraft's latest news, information, drama, and everything in between. Today's episode is going to have a slight twist. We will be hosting a giveaway for our most loyal Swancraft Times fans. That's right. There will be a special code of letters spelled throughout the episode to form a secret sentence or phrase. The first five people to send Little Kia a mail in-game revealing the hidden code will receive one legacy key. Wow, I wonder what it could be. First up on our agenda, April and May Player of the Month. Congratulations to our April 2021 Player of the Month, Chloe062 and Logan J34. Also, a huge congratulations to the April Player of the Month Art Contest winners, iCandle, Melis Vera, and Jcal. All of your artwork was so amazing. Congratulations to our May 2021 Player of the Month, Eric the Lutheran and the Minx. While we are on the discussion of Player of the Month, we want to hear your feedback. After a long conversation in the Community Questions channel in the Discord, some questions and concerns have been expressed about the way we run Player of the Month. If you want to be part of the wider discussion and want your thoughts and opinions heard, make sure to fill out the Google form. We also currently have a player questionnaire and admin survey out as well. Let us know how we are doing. All responses are anonymous, and we appreciate your honesty. We have some exciting news. We have introduced the Legacy Crate. These work the same way as the Swan and Donator Crates. You receive a key and get an item depending on your luck. You can get keys for this crate by participating in vote parties. Once we collectively, as a server, reach 500 votes, one legacy key will be distributed to each person that votes at least four times per party. Once the vote party is triggered, the votes will reset and the next party will begin. You do not have to be online to receive the key, and if you do not vote, you will not receive the reward. There are some awesome collectibles and rewards in the crate. These include the Stone of Gaia and Rhino's Helmet, both the items from 2018 collections. Check out the Legacy Crate at Slash Crates. Let's recap on our Easter event. It was so much fun. There are many prizes handed out during the Easter egg hunt, including a $100 voucher. Thank you to everyone who participated and showed up. Congratulations to the egg build competition winners. In first place, Lil Kia and It's Likely River. In second place, Drag19. In third place, Icebreaker44. In fourth place, Instant Ramen and Cookies. And in fifth place, Soda Pop. Check out this video handmade for Easter. Happy Holidays! Speaking of events, we have a lot coming up. Here is Soda with some information about a few upcoming events. Hello Swanlings, we have a lot of really fun and interesting events coming up. First, we are currently hosting the Marvel Map Art Competition, while we prepare for our new crate series. We're still working on it, and this does not mean it is being released, but we do want to see your amazing map art skills and abilities. Map arts will be judged on time and effort, difficulty, creativity, and criteria. Staff judges the map arts except for those who participate. And for more information about prizes, check out the form post. Good luck, everyone. Back to Kai and Nugs with more Swancraft news. Don't forget, we have a suggestions form for you movie lovers. Re reply to the forum post with movies you'd like to be shown. These movies will be shown on Discord, and if you want to host your suggested movie, please mention it in your suggestion. These movies will be shown bi-weekly if there's no planned movie events for holidays or server events. Rules for movie suggestions are that the movie must follow all Swancraft rules and be mostly appropriate. Keep in mind that we don't have access to all streaming sites, so if you know where we can find it, let us know. Make sure to tune in for these awesome movies, and don't forget to check the event calendar for other scheduled events. So, today in the weather, we have a warm week with spring upon us. So, if you have allergies, like... <clears throat> Me, be wary, the pollen count is high. <coughs> Thanks, Mark. In order to save our poor RTP zone from further destruction, we have added a new warp for all the concrete and glass makers. At Slash Warp Desert, you can mine all the sand your heart desires. All the sand around the warp will be regenerated every few weeks. Speaking of warps, we have opened up player warps. If you have something that you think the community would enjoy, perhaps a maze, boat race, or a puzzle, then this is perfect for you. There are some requirements such as being hero rank and the warp must be for community enjoyment. This means no showcase builds, no gambling machines, and no towns. 
After applying for your warp, the staff will set warp for you. Staff are not responsible for any prizes or lack thereof. Claiming that there will be a prize and not following through will result in warp removal. Items will not be replaced by staff and staff will not organize any events. Don't ask staff to host events in case you cannot. There also won't be any regions or flags, meaning no keep inventory, no invisibility. There's a maximum of one warp per player. Bypassing this by using friends to set additional warps will result in loss of warp privilege. You must own the claim that the warp is in, as well as be active for 60 days before applying for a warp. Removal of player warps for an activity will proceed on a case-by-case -case basis. Things like mazes that require no oversight from the claim owner wouldn't need to be removed for inactivity, but warps that require maintenance and upkeep would. Players cannot have any ma major punishments for 60 days and have no scamming punishments within the past year to apply. Redstone and entity rules are the same as normal entity rules. Warps must have no farms or lagging machines at the warp location, as well as be at least 200 blocks from any bases. This includes your main base. We won't be giving warps for five minute mazes or easy parkours. There must be no death traps at your warp. If players do die, staff will not be responsible for replacing items. To add to this, there must be a centralized hub for information, rules, and such. Warps cannot be in the RTB zone. Now, something for our builders. On May 1st, we'll be having a team build competition. It's been a while since the last one, and this time, the theme is PvP Arena. The time frame for this will be around 8 weeks, starting May 1st and ending July 31st. You must have your build submitted by midnight to be entered. Rules for this competition is that your build must fit the theme and be original. It must be specifically built for this contest, meaning you can't use any current or past build. No inappropriate builds and there will be no making fun or criticizing other people's builds. Lightmatica and Schematica are not allowed. Any use of these mods will result in a two week ban as well as loss of privilege to enter any future build contest. You cannot have any redstone contraptions, and staff are free to participate but will be ineligible to judge. Please do not harass staff about when the judging phase is ending or when prizes will be given out. Team sizes are to be of 3 to 5 only. Players cannot be a part of multiple teams. Flat sizes will be 150 by 150 blocks, and players will have access to fly. You must have areas for hiding and taking cover as well as have a starting area. Due to kits bugging out for a week, the Norse kit nerf date has been pushed back to May 11th. After this date, all Norse kits in the trade market will be replaced with the nerfed version. All unbreakable tags will be replaced with unbreaking 5, and potion effects will be removed. We've also brought back slash P weather. For those of you who are overlord or higher, you have access to this command. You will only be able to use slash P weather sun and slash P weather clear, as we have disabled slash P weather storm because it allows players to use trident with riptide without it actually raining. Additionally, we are changing the way entities work. At the moment, entities are automatically limited per chunk, but only some are automatically limited per area. On May 10th, all passive mobs will be included together in one group, and all hostile mobs will be included in a separate group. These groups will be limited to 200 in a 100 block radius. Here's Nessa with a special cooking announcement. Oh, hello there! I was just slipping up some of these Pennsylvania Dutch apple dumplings that Lil' Kia recommended on the forums. They are so delicious. Do you have a special recipe you want to share? We are looking for more recipes to put into the crates. Make sure to post on the forums and maybe yours will be the next one. Anyways, I have to go put these apple dumplings in the oven now. See you later! As some of you have may notice, we have brought back an old orb series in our fallen crate key. From now on, we'll be bringing back our old Game of Thrones orb series. I hope you all got your favorite Zelda pieces. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and want to hear more Swancraft news, make sure to leave a like and comment. Give us feedback. There may be more possible sets, skits, and much more. Next episode, guest speaker twins. You have the first line. I do? No, I don't. You do. Yes, you do. Oh. <laughs>
Dark. Hello. Chicken butt, chicken butt, chicken butt, chicken butt, chicken butt. <laughs> Today's episode is going to have a slight twist. We will be giving away. <laughs> nice. That's true. <laughs> now, something for our builders. On May 1st, we'll be having a team build competition. It's been a while since the last one, and this time, the theme is PvP Arena. The time frame for this will be around 8 weeks, starting May 3rd. My computer just died. <laughs> Fudge. Where's the script, man? Oh, no. I have to get my charger. Oh, darn. That's so unfortunate. This word flag. Oh. Oh, hello? Hi, hello. <laughs> what did I miss? My computer died, Soda. Oh. I think I just stepped on my cat's claw. It really hurt. <laughs> oh. Now, something for our builders. On May 1st, we'll be having a team build competition. It's been a <laughs> Sorry, my <laughs> nose was stuffy. I've been sick. Your nose? Yeah. Uh... Okay. Oh, I broke the shit. <laughs> so, today in the weather, we have a warm week with spring upon us we have no oh, shit god damn it i lost my place <laughs>